my name is Trevor Henderson. I'm with Media Vision, a department at Cal Poly Pomona. I'm here in Portland, Oregon for the West Southwest Regional EduCause Conference. Let's go see what's happening. We're here at day one of EduCause. I'm here with Noreen Light. Noreen, what institution are you from? I'm from the Washington State Board for Community and Technical Colleges, which is a board that oversees 34 community and technical colleges across the state of Washington. Well, that's a large organization. So um, are you presenting today? I am. I'm co-presenting with Joe Monroe from Tacoma Community College and Kathy Chatfield from Clark College. And we're presenting on faculty learning communities. Great. So are there uh, any other uh, presentations around here that you're excited to attend? I'm just excited to meet all the people from all over the western region and learn about what's going on in other areas. I'd also be interested in talking with people about our open course library project. We've opened up 81 courses. Well, actually, phase one was 41 courses. The next phase will be another 40 courses. And we're creating those courses with lead faculty, librarians, instructional designers, and then putting all the course materials online available for anyone. Great. So kind of like an open university. Right. It's the 81 highest enrollment gatekeeper courses from our state. Well, great. That should be a lot of use. Uh, well, I hope to hear from you and others around the conference. Thanks. Wonderful. Thank you. I'm here with Oscar Ramos from Lone Star College. And Oscar, I hear you're part of the incoming program committee. What exactly does that committee do? Uh, basically, we'll be uh, looking at uh, the program for the next uh, two years, trying to figure out uh, what is um, what is going on right now in the industry, understanding uh, where colleges need to go, the type of information that uh, will be valuable to the, the people that participate in this, uh, in this conference. And so just overall figuring out what's the best approach uh, for EDUCAUSE moving forward in the next two years for the regional. All right, I'm here with Mike Berman, the Vice President of Technology and Communications at CSU Channel Islands. Mike, uh, you're, I hear you're speaking today. Actually tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. So what's the topic you're talking about? I'm going to be um, part of a roundtable discussion on managing your career. The main thing about managing your career is about building connections, and um, that's part of why I come to these meetings. So uh, are there any uh, sessions or speakers you're really excited to hear from today? Actually, I'm looking forward in a few minutes to uh, going to the session on building diversity in IT, because it's just a really important issue. and. Um, something I'm interested in and something I've certainly supported in my career. I want to learn how we can do better. The challenge for those of us in, in educational IT is to figure out how we bring value to the educators and value to the students. What can we do that they can't simply go do themselves? If they can go do it themselves, that's great. But there are things that we can do in terms of integration. For example, putting a whole package together, tying it together with enrollment information. Um, collecting useful information on students that can be used for advising, things like that, that you don't get in just a standalone system. So we have to be figuring those out and, and understanding them and understanding the needs of the educators because it's much more, it's more and more a world where they have to voluntarily choose to work with us. We, we can't really force them. And I think overall that's a good thing, but it's a challenge. All right, Mike, thanks a lot for talking to us, and uh, good luck on your uh, talk tomorrow. Go Media Vision. <laughs>